In this tutorial, we will talk about how to use these asset command which are discussing as a last video and how to handle its error and uh, how to control error in UI vision such like firstly we will discuss how to ignore an error like that if I try to store a undefined variable to a variable then I will get an error you can see that and how we can escape this so we will add just a value just here store and here we will save only true and next is error ignore so in case of this you will not get an error you can see it's yellow because it's have error but it will not stop here it will go on all macro not stop here and how we will detect this error and where it's happen and how we can detect it's a second question so we will get here here like i will show in low actually this command also remaining uh, actually it's used to appear a value in log you can see here a section of log so like we want to see our last command is run successfully or not so we will enter here last command okay so if we give here any color name then it will appear in a specific color you can see that it's appear in a blue color it's false because our second line is not successfully run so we will handle all error of assert with it like here like such as i will open a google page as we know here is our title is this but i will try here assert title but how can i can detect it so just write us assert title and we will detect it by this we will copy here a value of it and then we will check here and you can see that it's return to you value actually last command is successfully run actually it's a use where we will check it's a previous line is successfully run or not so it will just return true or false so how to control an error like uh, put a verification method so we will use here a command like here i want to use actually we'll use here do do command actually it's used uh, to perform specific task on a condition go uh, repeat if you can see that actually here we will put uh, a search value actually i expect that here should be a google so repeat if last command is false actually in case of reverse we will use here reverse here is a uh, actually this this exclamatory marks actually it's used for not lost come on okay and oh we are missing here actually we will need to enter here to ignore this value ignore error so we'll use here true to store error ignore ignore error ignore so you can see that it's run again and again and why it's run again and again i will show her it's run again and again i will just put a google you can see that it's remain that it's stop here because her condition is successfully okay so we'll use here it just for verification of anything and we can also verification multiple things but we will enter here get or for or this like uh, i will put here a val variable and for end condition so we will put here and for end condition so we'll put here this and command and here we will put here variable and so use it like this so next is check command 
actually check command is used to check for a checkbox we will just give here a locator and it will check actually tick mark uh, here is a check so we, when we will see a checkbox on any website so we will use it to check it so here is click it's already explained in my video actually it's used for click on any type of button and click and wait click and wait when we expect that uh, we will need to wait after the after click on this button like uh, when we press here uh, like uh, here we will need to await after click on it so we will use it actually it's also already explained on my video so i will also use it and show you how it's work you can see that it's properly run so next is next is click at it's very minor and tricky command like i want to click on any specific coordinate so we will use it like here you can see that and firstly we will remove it where it's removed so like it's our canva we will target it and i want to i want to put a brush on a 200 coordinate from x and 200 from y so put here you can see that it's put this and we will use it again like here we will enter this value you can see that you can also make a shape by this using a different command like a loop and so on yeah, like you can see that in the same line a three dot has changing with value it's a command actually commands are actually command is a, a command just put where uh, we think that its command not, should be not run so we will put we put it we put only command command and next is continue actually it's used in a loop so like here is also loop uh, do and repeat if but it's not a better condition to use it so we will discuss in a letter in a loop better csv read csv read actually csv read csv read is used to read a value from read a value from csv like uh, csv and csv is here is csv here we will put its a name its first parameter is its name read csv test data csv just yes, see and how to use it in our sector so we will just use use a colon command like here echo and, and call actually it's mean column first second and third we will put here column first second and third of csv so it's port one so it will give only value of first column of first row so we will run it again in a blue color so you can check see that here is value of first row and it's a first column so how to change it again and again so here you can see that play loop and when when we will put here one two three and it's used every time it's different value like here you can see that it's different so next command next command is csv read array actually it's a read csv but in a form of array like a two dimensional array and uh, we will read its value here and we will access it like a two dimension variable two dimensional array so in this section in this section we will put here line number and column number actually here puts index index of line index of column so csv array 
it is uh, first parameter is uh, you can see that it's run successfully uh, put its value below so you can easily see that you can see that it's properly run so again here is run uh, and get a value of second column uh, see, see that it's okay so next is and uh, next command is csv save actually it's used to csv but uh, in case of this we will need to store a value well value with the store command like here i have a value of like here ali and i want to store it but in case of it we will save it csv line so we will just need to use firstly which csv will use in it csv read so here is cs csv save so just read that csv so run it and see that here is a csv okay and next 